In this video we're going to look at exponential decay. We'll look at example 8, um, a radioactive chemical called depleted uranium and we'll answer these four questions. So first of all, um, radioactive chemicals have half-lives. So we're going to basically understand what a half-life means and calculate how many years it'll take for a radioactive chemical to decay, to go away, break down into harmless particles, chemicals. So depleted uranium, or U, uranium-238, has a half-life of 4.5 billion years, 4.5 billion years. Suppose that 300 tons of depleted uranium is left in a country during an invasion. How much DU, or depleted uranium, will be present after 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 half-lives? So we'll start with this, and again, um, the way to kind of simplify these things is on your input side of the table, put number of half-lives, okay? So that's going to be the trick. Whenever you deal with the half-life of a radioactive chemical, put the half, yeah, decay of a radioactive chemical, you, you ought to put the half-lives on the input. Once you do that, you'll see that it'll all work out. So I'm going to put in 0 and then uh, 1 um, and we'll, so we'll just look at 0 and 1 to begin with. So um, we'll look at that and then uh, the du that is left or remaining. Okay. So um, after 0 years initially we got 300 tons so we'll just go 300, okay? After one half-life, what does a half-life mean? It means after one half-life has passed, half of that radioactive chemical has decayed, okay? So it's, it's, it's um, broken down and there's only 150 tons left. Does that make sense? So this takes 4.5 billion years, remember. So this is half-lives, it's not number of years. So this is 4.5 billion years. Four point five billion years. And then can you guess how long it will take for after two years? Oh, sorry, two half-lives, my mistake. Two half-lives, which of course is nine billion years, right? How much will be left? Once again, a half-life uh, means the amount of time it takes for the radioactive material to decrease by half. So after another half-life, this is going to decrease by half. So basically, you just got to figure out half of 150. What's half of 150? Is it 75, right? and so on. Now of course on part B it's not going to go as easy as all, uh, as that. We'll have to find a formula to give the amount of uh, uh, waste remaining after ha H half-lives. Okay, So we've got to find a formula. So go ahead and, and figure it out for three and then we'll start to work on this and try to find a formula. Okay. So how much is left after three half-lives have, have passed? So you would get, wouldn't you get half of 75, right? So basically, which would be 37.5, right? So half of this. So basically, the point is, if, uh, and eventually we're going to have to do, you know, 4 and 5 and then H to get the formula, right? But let's try and come up with a formula for H. So we're going to use the kind of, play with the numbers to kind of come up with a formula for how, how much DU is left after H half-lives. So to get 150, let's just focus on that. What did we do to get 150? We took the 300, right? 
and what do we do to it? We divided it by 2. Okay. I also want you to notice that 300 multiplied by a half gives what? What's 300 multiplied by a half? If you remember multiplying fractions, you got to write 300 as a fraction, which would make 300 over 1, right? So 300 over 1 times 1 over 2 would give 300 over 2, which would give 150. So multiplying by a half is the same thing as dividing by 2. I want you to see that and understand that. And I hope you've covered fractions before. We need to know that. If you multiply by a half, it's the same thing as dividing by 2. See, 300 becomes 300 over 1. Multiply by half, 300 times 1, 1 times 2 on the bottom, right? So, to get the 75, we multiplied the 150 times a half, didn't we? So, the 75, that's 150 times 1 half, right? But, but, 150 itself, of course, is 300 times a half. What's 300 times a half? It is 150, right? Uh, so, and what's 150 times a half? Well, it's 75. So, this is 150, and if I multiply that by a half, so 300 times a half is 150, and times a half again is 75, right? So, this 75 can be written, I hope you see, 300 times 1 half to the power of 2, right? So that's what I want you to notice. If we have a 2 here, that's 300 times a half squared, right? Now 300 times a half times a half, you agree, is uh, 75, right? 300 times a half is 150. 300 times a half times a half is 75. But if you get half of that again, you get 37.5, don't you? You can check it on your calculator, or you can multiply it out, right? And that, of course, is 300, can be written 300 times 1 half to the power of what? 1, 2, 3, right? So, to get the amount remaining after three half lives, we've got to go 300 times a half to the power of three up here. See that? So guess what you would do to get the amount remaining after four half lives? Use this this uh, formula or this pattern, right? Write it down. How about 300 times one half to the power of something to the power of four, right? And again, you can get that on the calculator right away. Uh, if you can do one line, that's great. One half in parentheses. Oh, that should be divide. Sorry. To the power of four. Press enter. And. 75 divided by 4. So it should be 18.75, right? Or you can, you know, work it out step by step. Um, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Of course, just to show exactly what this is, this is a half times itself four times, which of course is 300 times. 1 half times itself 4 times is 1 over 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So it's, uh, and this is, can be written 300 over 1, so that's of course 300 over 16. So if you want to check it, what's 300 over 16? It is 18.75, same thing, okay? So whichever way you calculate it, you should be able to figure out this is 18.75, and if you need help to your calculator, let me know. So please write down how many, how much do you, figure out how much do you be left after five half lives? So you would calculate 
whatever this what this is 300 times one half to the power of five right put that in the calculator see what you get and of course it's just going to be this one divided by two again isn't it I mean if I just divided 18.75 divide that by two I'll get 9.375 but let's check it 300 times one half to the power of 5 we have 75 over 8 you, you might have got that 75 over 8 9.375 okay tons left right so here we have four and a half billion years nine billion years uh, this would be 13.5 billion years uh, this would be for 18 billion years and so on right okay so it decreases by half every four and a half billion years is the point four and a half billion years later the amount is decreased by half what's the formula then if after h half lives how much depleted uranium is left over press pause and do it if you like I'm going to do it now for five half lives we've got 300 times a half to the power of five for h half lives we have 300 multiplied by one half that is put to the power of h okay so you could say um, if this half lives is h and if the amount left is a the amount left you could say a equals 300 times one half to the power of h that would be your formula right sorry a equals 300 times one half to the power of h okay now part that's so anyway that was part b we found the formula find an exponential formula gives the amount of du remaining in the country after h halves and part c how many half lives of depleted geranium is 18 years? A 18 billion years, right? Well, one half life equals um, one half life is 0.5 billion years. So, how many half lives is 18 billion years? We just did it on the table, didn't we? How? What sort of a calculation could you use with 18? If you just had the numbers 18 and 4.5, what could you do with 18 and 4.5 to figure out how many half life 4. or 18 billion years is? Does that make sense? How many 4.5s are contained in 18? 4.5, then you got 9, then you got 13.5, and then you got 18, right? Would you add, subtract, multiply, or divide these numbers to get the answer? Would you divide? When you divide, you're saying how many 4.5s are contained in 18, right? And if you put that calculator, the answer will be 4. Of course, you can also write that 18 over 4.5, and that'll give us the answer, which is four half lives. Okay. How many half lives of depleted uranium is 20 billion years? In other words, how many one half life is 4.5 billion years? So the question is, um, how many half-lives is 20 billion years? In other words, how many 4.5s are contained in 20? And what operation do we do for that? You could do 20 divided by 4.5 or do it this way 20 over 4.5 well in either case you're saying how many 4.5s are contained inside a 20 plug that in the calculator uh, 
and we get you know 4.44 to the nearest to two decimal places that's 4.44 half-lives which you would expect it's it's a, it's 20 is a little more than 18 so it's a little more than four half-lives right how about 35 billion years how many half-lives of the big uranium is 35 billion years press pause and do that one yourself So it's 35, and what do you do with the 4.5 and the 35? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. You're trying to figure out how many 4.5s are contained in 35. So if you take the 35 and divide by 4.5, that might give you the answer, right? And we get 7. Point to, to two decimal places, let's say 7.78 half lives, right? Now, part D. Estimate how much depleted uranium will be present after 18 billion years. Interesting. Don't we need our formula? Looks like we need to go back to our formula, right? Which was that the amount remaining, and we'll write this down, the amount remaining is the initial amount times one half to the power of h, where h is the number of half-lives. If we can figure out h, we can figure out the amount remaining. If we've, if this is 18 billion years, how many half-lives is that? What's h? How do you figure out half-lives? Well, we just did earlier. H was 18 over 4.5, which gave 4. So that's 4 half-lives, remember? And what do you do with the 4? Plug it in to the formula for H. So the amount remaining should be 300 times 1 half to the power of 4, right? Which is... Seventy five over four, eighteen point seven five, which we found from the table earlier. Right? But this is just to double check everything. Okay? Eighteen point seven five tons. Now, after thirty five billion years, how much depleted uranium will be present? Can you do that one yourself? Again, if you're asked this, you gotta first fi if you want to use this formula, the formula is A equals three hundred times the half to the power of H you've got to figure out what H is. So what is H? If you get H, you can plug it in the formula and you'll be able to get the, the amount, 300 times 1 half to the power of H. You just need to figure out H and put it up here and then you're good to go, right? And we did it earlier, didn't we? 35 over 4.5 would be 7.78 approximately, half-lives. And the amount of depleted uranium remaining would be one point to two decimal places, approximately one point. Well, it's, it's okay. It's one point three six four, etc. So I'll call that approximately one point three six tons, okay? Now, press pause and do this one. Estimate how much depleted uranium will be present after 10 billion years. Press pause and do it yourself, then I'll do it. I hope you've tried it. hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So the first thing we need to do is, well, we've got to use the formula, which is 300 times 1 half to the power of H. we got to figure out what is H. Half-life is 4.5 billion years. So how many half-lives is 10 billion years? That's the first step. You remember how to do that? How many 4.5s are contained in 10? That'll give you the number of half-lives. 
10 divided by 4.5, 2.22. So approximately 2.22 half-lives. Okay, that's H. So that goes up here, 2.22, sorry, 2.22, right? So then we type this in, or calculate this, 300 times uh, 0 0.5 or 1 half to the power of 2.22. Press enter. And the answer is uh, 64.392, etc. Round that to two decimal places, 64.39, and that's measured in tons. Okay. So um, one thing to note is this: you might say, "Well, this doesn't look like the. Um, it, it looks. It doesn't look exactly like the exponential growth." But you could think of the half. What's a half as a as a uh, decimal? Zero point five, isn't it? So or zero point fifty, let's say. So our formula is the you know the three hundred times zero point fifty. Uh, to the power of h, right? Uh, or you can also think it's it's decreasing. Uh, you could think the growth is negative uh, fifty percent minus a half, right? Um, each half life. So you could think of the formula as three hundred times one itself minus fifty percent because it decreases by 50%, right? Um, that would be like after one half-life. Uh, so 300, you know, times 1 minus 0 0.50, which is what 50% is, it's 0 0.50, or 300 times 0 0.50, right? And of course, for different numbers of half-lives, you would put that to the power of h. So, and of course 0 0.50, that's the same as a half. So I mean that it is the same, exactly the same formula as growth, it's just like a negative growth because it's decay. So it decays by 50%, so it's like a negative growth. Okay.